Hi guys, today we're going to be doing a video of David Walliams, the Ice Monster. Now, I've read up to chapter 12, but I'm reading it from the beginning, and there'll be different parts, so this is part one, so here we go. I'm trying to show you the pictures, because it is a lot of pictures. The year of 1899. And we're in Victorian London. Meet the characters in the story. Elsie is a homeless organ. He lives on the streets of London. Dottie is the cleaning lady at the Natural History Museum. She is the Darth of the brushes. Actually, we should skip this. All the people. Chapter one. Oh yeah, that's a funny part. Um. The Sticky Fingers Gang, the rough and tough band of child, of child robbers, robbers who are infamous for being the greatest thieves in London. Ray, the first owner of the country, a foreign of the sweet trolley, at last he century, not least. Chapter 1. The Cocktails for breakfast one black winter night in the black streets of london a tiny baby was left on the steps of an organ there was no name no name no clue to who this little person was just a potato sack which was wrapped as snow fell under the victorian times it was not a unicorn for newborn babies to be an be at stand outside organs, hospitals, or even home for upper class folk. The poor depths, mothers, children to be taken in the life, then their birth families perverted. However, it is hard for a worse start in the life for a baby at one hole home for upwards children. Now, if you have the Ice Monster book, sorry to interrupt, if you have the Ice Monster book, go and get it and read along with me. I'm on the pitch with the dark, dark, warmly hall of Sunderwood children. 26 organs lived there, crammed into a room, and slept eight and almost children were locked up and starved beaten on the top there were four small night and were insensible to Garen's pockets which were tiny pieces until they were blind all the children were painfully thin raised or clothes the organs were black smooth snot all you could see is the gloom of their hopeful little eyes when the newborn when the new baby arrived at the organs, all the ch older children would come up with a name for them. They all like work their way through the alphabet so their names would be different as possible. Not the night baby was the potato sack left on the steps by heard reached E. Except they had reached E. If she had been found as the name for Mikai, had might have been a called Doris. A day later, had been franked and said the name was Elsie. This prisoner organ was run by an evil old boot named Mrs. Cuddle. Her face was ugly, fixed, and peregrine grimaced. Her coloured to toes to warts. She had many warts. That her warts had warts. You should go and look at the Gruffalo by Julia Donaldson. Because the Gruffalo has warts. It was going to be a tiger, but nothing was a tiger. The only thing that made her smile was the sound of children snobbing. The curl would scoff the food into the organ so the children would care to eat crocodiles for breakfast lunch dinner creepy crocodiles are good for you 
with the chuckle if any organs are after the candle out she would stuff one of her so old stockings into their mouth they would keep it in there for a week keep it in there for a week that would keep you quiet windy will it then the children were sleeping in the cold stone floor she would hit wiggly ones with the back of their shirts so they would wake up screaming ah ho 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 Oh, squealer. Mrs. Cuddle sneezed over the organs. Achoo! And blowed her nose into the air. Oompa gonzadika. A weak bath, a weekly bath, in ruled the Duncan organs by the bath or mattress of a will be nibbled dirt. You muck slimps. Mrs. Cuddle would snigger. They would try afterwards to peg the children to the washing line by their ears. Twang! Once Elsie was found in the rack of her pocket, there had been a bee best friends, and Cuddle would be a ball in the cricket. Said equal, oh, would you be friends with Elsie if you were with her, or would you be friends with the nasty old lady? Which one would you choose? I would choose Elsie. Because she is much kinder and I would not want to be stuffed with socks in my face and crocodiles. If she felt one of the organs had given a funny look, Mrs. Cuddle would poke up then into the dirty, stubby finger. Ouch! Take that, good place! As a special treat for Christmas, the organs would line up for their present and whack a bottom for a bungy book of corals. Bash! Merry Christmas, child! Mrs. Cuddle would explain. On each strike, Elsie had carried along and a warmly hole of the things to keep her going to dream on the magical night and wisp away. But she never did. As the girl grew up, she was even more and more incredible stories about her perhaps her ma was just explore or rabbit telling and um, stories if i was her i would do a story about this book so yeah even better lady or pirate having adventures on high seas every night else would make up bedtime stories for her fellow organs Overnight, over time, the girl became a magnificent storyteller. All other children were playing on Goofy Hand. They're on the rooftop, by the way. <laughs> then Ma found a first self in the dark place. It was buggy, a huge blue whale. Ma escaped from the trail camp tops, which wasn't very easy as they had already gobbled up left leg boom ma had thrown down the bomb and their names were just so one was killed if it was all day work for a secret again the end what the night story finished the organs would cry out another you won't go to sleep here please elsie just one more the night's children cheered so much, Elsie's stories woke up Mrs. Cuddle. No more stories, you nasty little beast. Rag up women, betting Elsie to Brookwick on every word. The puss in stolen stocking for wrecked the girl on streams. Ah, ah, ah! Beaten was served. Elsie was she going to serve. Her little body a black blue with brushes or a, or escape or die. I read a chapter every time and say so I'm gonna do chapter two the monkey feet in the next video. Bye!